at this point, two years into being a parent, I think it's time that me and you take some time to not be selfish, but focus a little bit of love and energy into ourselves. And so this is going to be my top 20 items, not mom related, just human person related. These are my must haves, holy grail. I don't wanna gatekeep any of these things. So we have top 20, let's just hop in. First item is a new find, and I do have a mini of this perfume, but I have now went out and ordered a full size because this is the scent of all scents in my eyes. This is gonna be my new adult. It's not like a matronly smelling perfume, but if you're somebody who was obsessed in high school with the pink sugar Sephora perfume, if you know it, you know it. You like those sweet sugary scents, this is the more adult version of that. It is called Juliet Has a Gun, and the specific scent is Vanilla Vibes. They have a Vanilla Vibes Extreme, I think they call it. To me, it smells different. It doesn't smell like a more potent version of this. Vanilla Vibes, to me, is where it is at. If you're looking for a new everyday scent, I feel like this would work for fall, winter, spring, summer. I know a lot of people like to get a new scent when they're creating like a big memory. So maybe you're just starting your journey into finding who you are as a mom. Maybe you're getting married. This is such a beautiful scent. You can go to Sephora and smell it. I did my full-size purchase on Amazon. Everything I talk about will be linked down below, but this is just a new must, must, must have. I'm so obsessed. Number two, let's talk about this creepy mask that is staring at you right here. I picked this up off Amazon. I researched a lot into LED masks and this was the top rated one. It is over $100, but for a good LED mask, that is kind of what you're looking at. So it has this little control panel, it has like a little hook. I'm, I'm not gonna put it on now and mess up my makeup, but yeah, it, it it looks crazy, but I have really felt like using the red and the blue light. It has, I think, eight different lights to it. And it will tell you what each one does. The ones I do are really like anti-aging and like antimicrobial for acne prone skin because my skin can randomly break out even in my 30s. I don't use it every night. I probably use it once every three days. At night, you wanna use it after washing your face and before applying any like activating serum. So after my daughter goes to bed, I wash my face. I put on a podcast and I sit there 10, 15, I think it goes up to 20 minutes and relax. Again, I have seen a huge difference in my skin even just over the past month of using it every three days. Number three, also speaking of skincare, I got an ice roller finally. This is just one off Amazon. I think it was about $12 and all you do is keep it in the freezer and I will use this as much as I can, usually morning, 30 seconds a minute. You don't wanna keep it on any area and like freeze it, but it just helps kind of get rid of puffiness. Number four, now we're kind of hopping in to beauty. This is another inexpensive holy grail item for me. It is called the Etude Dear Darling Water Tint. And I think I have the shade Cherry, it does come in three different shades. It is what I have on now, it is my every single day. I will throw this on in the morning and Vaseline if it's a, you know, a go, go, go type mommy day. Since I started using this, I've been getting so many compliments on my lip situation. A lot of people have been asking if I got my lips redone and no, I haven't since 2016. It really makes a difference to have color to your lip. It really just makes them look a lot more full healthy, glowy, and I've used this every day for probably three months and we barely made a dent. So this will last you probably past the expiration date. Number five, like I said, I love the lip stain, which is Vaseline, but if it's a more glam day, these are the two glosses I use. So if you ever see me and you wonder what gloss is that, it is one of these two. If you want some color, I would recommend the Pat McGrath Color in Secret Lover. 
so, so pretty. I think I have some footage or pictures I can throw in of me using this. And then this is kind of like my go-to. I'll put this on right now. It is the Dior Lip Glow Oil in Rosewood. The only thing I have to say about it, it is a little sticky. But I'll show it to you now. I do again have that tint on, but yeah, I'll just throw this on top if I want a little extra. Gloss. Number six, I recently was hired to do a couple videos with Sephora testing a bunch of concealers. You won't see it on my channel. I think they're going on Sephora's Facebook page, but pretty much I got to try some of the top concealers out there. And my absolutely favorite duo out of everyone I tried was the Kosas concealer. It's what I have now. I use this under my eyes, the high points of the face and everything. And then actually the Sephora Collection Concealer in a deeper shade to contour and like warmth. It's the only contour bronzer I have on. I feel like this combination works really well together. This is really hydrating and glowy and this is just the perfect bronzer concealer the way it blends out and everything it's super natural and it's made my routine so so simple because i really just use this and then i go in with a liquid blush this is the rare beauty blush in the shade happy it is again what i have on now these three products are like my everyday go-to I love, love, love this blush. I feel like it blends so nicely and the three together just really meld beautifully. And then I like to keep it super simple. My other must, must have thing I have been loving is the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. And I feel like I'm the last person to try this. I really loved the Charlotte Tilbury Powder but I do feel like there's some coverage with that. And this is good for setting, you know, the concealer, but also the contour and the blush a little bit. And it really just like flawlessly hides pores. I've been getting so many compliments on my skin and I have been doing some things to just overall, you know, take care of my skin. But this combination has really just sent my skin to a place I really didn't think it was ever gonna get to. I have the shade pound cake. I don't feel like it has a bunch of color or coverage, which is not what I'm looking for. It really just mattifies and sets everything and makes it look poreless. Number nine, as I mentioned with my LED mask, I like to listen to a podcast and the one I am super, super obsessed with, and I have mentioned it a couple times, but it is the Something Is Wrong podcast. You can listen to it for free and it just deep dives like each season into somebody's personal account with dating someone or having a relationship with someone or a friendship or a boss, a coworker, a parent, a sibling that is super destructive in one way or another. It's, you know, something was wrong. And I find these so fascinating. And obviously I went through my own personal situation with something similar with this, probably could be its own episode on that show, but I don't know if it's cause I just went through that that I find it so entertaining. But if you like crime podcasts and it actually relaxes you, then definitely check out Something Was Number Wrong. Number 10, I am a millennial and I am ready to hop on the flared legging trend, which to me, they are not flared leggings, but if, if, you, if you know, you know. I have found ones that I really, really love. They are truly high-waisted. I feel like they look really flattering. I got them off Amazon. They are a little bit long, but I like to wear them with my platform Converse, and I just, I feel very like hip, but also comfortable and kind of nostalgic when I wear them. And yeah, they just look really good. I wish they had them in other colors. I think they're just black and gray. But if you know me, I don't like wearing a lot of black because I hate being covered in dog hair. <laughs> and that's literally the reason I stopped wearing black in my life is I just always had pug hair on my black clothes. Let's hop into hair. All the products I'm gonna show you are what I use every day to create my everyday hair look and I have tried so many hair products. My mom is obsessed with hair products. We have very similar fine hair. And so I have tried her whole pantry of stuff. I have tried different, you know, things here and there in salons. And I can tell you, 
If you have fine, thin hair that is a little damaged, this is for you. My first fave in the hair category is going to be the Big and Sexy Dry Shampoo. I will say, I feel like people either love, love, love this or hate this because it is very volumizing, which makes it kind of gritty. And I love having that texture, I love having that volume, but it's not going to be one of those dry shampoos that you throw in your hair and you know it feels fluffy. I have it in my hair now and it is still workable and movable for me, but if you have like fine, greasy, flat hair, this is gonna be the dry shampoo that you really, really love. I have repurchased it probably seven times. <laughs> I think we're on number 12. This is a shine spray. I love this because one, it actually adds shine without grease. It's how I get my blonde to be so shiny and fresh. The other reason I really love it is the scent is very, very beautiful and it's not overpowering. It is the Kenra Shine Spray Instant Weightless Shine Spray. I feel like it's a very beautiful combination with the dry shampoo because again, this can be very you know, texturizing and kind of mattifying the top, the oily, and then my ends will get really dry, you know, three days post shower. And I love to just bump it up with this. I even use it on clean hair, like I have today, and it's it's still beautiful, not greasy. I wouldn't spray it on the roots, it would be greasy, but on the ends, the mid to the ends, beautiful. My last step is actually that shine spray. So what I do before it, and it might be contradictory, is to use the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I use this to break up my curls. I kind of break up my fingers and then I go in and just like shoot, you can even see, shoot in volume and texture. I feel like this helps even hold a curl to my hair. A lot of the times I don't even use hairspray and it can kind of give you a little bit of like that gritty workable texture, which I find really pretty. But again, it's kind of why I go in with a little bit of shine spray too, to just kind of oomph it back up. But if I was doing more of like a beachy wave, then maybe I would do just Orbe texturizing spray. Again, I have used so many texturizing sprays and this is the best. It has a high price tag, but I keep repurchasing it because there's nothing else like it. Next, I scoured the internet for the best volumizing mousse for pre-blow drying, and I tried a bunch, and honestly, this is still a more expensive one, but not the most expensive one. I tried the Orbe one, and this, is better. It's the R Plus Co Rodeo Star Thickening Style Foam. I just put this in my roots on kind of towel dried, almost dry hair before I blow dry it. And I set it with rollers. And I know what you're thinking, your hair isn't even that big. That is how flat my hair is. I get the most volume out of this. And so if you like don't have super fine flat hair and you use this, I'm sure you're gonna get beautiful, luscious, bouncy volume. We're almost wrapping up on the hair, I promise. This is the final thing I use every day. I used to be a ride or die for over a decade. The It's a 10 leave-in spray. I have now switched to the Olaplex number six bond smoother. It is a leave-in styling treatment and it really seals the ends for damaged frizzy hair, especially on my extensions. I have now reused them since the last time I put them in and they just get more and more kind of scraggly frizzy the more you take them out and reapply them. It's kind of unavoidable, but this has made them look really beautiful Again, it really has revived it. I use it every time on wet hair. So I'll put these in my hair and then blow dry. If I do have like a super tangle in my hair or a mat or anything, I will grab the It's a 10 again, but this is beautiful for some detangling, but really sealing the ends of your hair and just making it look so healthy after a blow dry. The next category is jewelry, and this is something I just recently started getting back into. I would say I went like a full 
year without any jewelry as a new mom. It just was not feasible. I slowly started incorporating more jewelry and about a month ago, I had to re-pierce my ears because it had been that long since I wore earrings and I picked up this really cute, let me make sure it's not twisted, Diamond A, not real diamonds. I think it was about $30 from Bubble Bar. I did not realize Bubble Bar was killing the game. They have such cute stuff. I remember them being around years ago and their stuff was kind of almost like costumey jewelry, I remember. No, it's super chic, really refined. They have really beautiful monogrammed blankets and like phone cases that I have my eye on, but they're kind of expensive. So I just went the jewelry route for now, but the earrings are beautiful, really comfortable to wear. I have like a little circle on the other side. The other jewelry I'm wearing, unfortunately, is not Bubble Bar. And it's from a little boutique, so I cannot link. These bracelets are from Karen Lazar, a little local designer here by me. And then I know the jewelry pieces I'm always, always wearing are both from Martha Calvo and I really buy these for myself on like my birthday or Mother's Day because each necklace is I like around 100 to 130 dollars so it is pricier I love my pieces I have an A for my daughter and then I just really like smiley faces and so I have this smiley face one these necklaces are probably the number one question comment DM that I get and they are Martha Calvo, you can get it directly from the site or I think I buy, I bought both of these on Revolve. Number 17, if you have watched my videos at all, if you know me, you know <laughs> I buy probably too much skims. And if I was to suggest one piece that I really, really love and I've been wearing every day, I have it in two colors now, is this bra in particular. I think it's really good for someone who is small chested or somebody who is post breastfeeding journey. I'm wearing it now. It is like unlined. I'll show it to you. It's nude. It's in the shade Sienna. I like that it is unlined. I feel like that makes it really comfortable and it does do a good job of lifting them. It does flatten them a little bit, but I'll be honest, having them pushed up and extended out isn't my <laughs> number one priority. It is just comfort. I forget the name exactly, so I'll, I'll put it on screen. I'm probably gonna go and buy one more shade and then I'm done. Another super common question I get is about this sweater and just the Sun Peony coconut items in general. I love them. I love that it is a small business. I love that it is owned by a mom. I think your pieces are so sweet. I did purchase the items myself. I have been purchasing from her for over a year now. I have like a leopard print mommy and baby matching set, but I even just wear this on my own when I'm not matching with my daughter. Another piece I have from her that I always get questions about is this good mom's hat. They also have it in a green color, an orange color, and I think another one. I went with pink. I kind of wish I got the green, but yeah, I, I love it. And oh my God, there's a lot of makeup. You did see my posts and she sent me this t-shirt right here that also said Good Moms Club. It is like a little cropped and then a matching one for Arrow. So yeah, if you ever see me wearing those pieces, it is not my own line. A lot of people think it is. It is Sun Peony Coconut. Next, you're gonna think this is so random and so not me, but I think I have found the best like mom jeans. They're not mom jeans, but I mean it in the sense of, you know, when you're a mom and you're dealing with like postpartum, the last thing you wanna do is put on jeans or something tight. And I was very against jeans for like a year and then I was like trying to find the perfect one again and it took me two years, one month to finally find a jean that I am so obsessed with. It is the Jade High Rise Flare from Free People. They hit super high. I hate when something says ultra high-waisted and it hits below the belly button. This for sure is above the belly button. It has no pockets on the back, so it gives your butt the best 
lift. I'm telling you, my butt does not look as good in real life as it looks in these jeans. And they are flared. They are a little long, I will say, but I plan on wearing them with my high platform Converse. Number 20, and I will have a bonus at the end, but this barefoot dreams robe i like the barefoot dreams robes over the skims i do feel like the skims are softer in the beginning but after a couple of washes they lose their softness faster than the barefoot dreams and they are about the same price so i would suggest going the barefoot dreams route and i also from kohl's found on sale a little toddler version it's actually a size six seven so we're gonna have to wait a couple years until me and my daughter can actually match, but if you're looking to treat yourself or maybe get like a mother-in-law or your mom a Christmas gift, Barefoot Dreams robes, <gasps> they're just heaven. The bonus item, I just felt like it was so random to put in this video. It is an empty box because I've eaten them all in 48 hours. They are so good. It is the Cool Haas Dairy-Free Cookie Dough Life Frozen Dessert Cone. Pretty much just an ice cream cone, cookie dough, topped with chocolate, and a really like scrumptious soft cone that has chocolate on the bottom. I'm not eating dairy free anymore. That's not like a selling point to me, but it tastes so good. If you're lactose intolerant, if you have an anti-inflammatory diet, if you're not doing dairy, if you're vegan or whatever, this actually is there. Pro there's probably like. Uh, no, I think they're vegan. No, I think they are actually vegan. So no matter your dietary life, if you eat everything, these are so, so good. I, I, yeah, I had to put that out. I feel like I've been talking forever, but those are really like my top 20 holy grail me must-haves that I would recommend to absolutely anyone. Let me know down below if you have any holy grail must-haves you would like to share with all of us. I really feel like this is the time that us adults take some time to love and appreciate ourselves. And I really just hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and I will see you in my next one on Monday. Bye!